Okay, uh, catching up with uh, University of Akron uh, head track and field coach Dennis Mitchell. Uh, coach, big uh, rivalry week uh, this week with uh, Kent State coming to the field house on Friday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, what does this rivalry mean to uh, your kids and, and to your program? Well, it means a, a lot to our kids. It's just like the rivals with the with the other teams as well, but we're, we've always been well matched up against each other. You know, Kent's always been kind of our, our uh, nemesis out there when it comes to uh, competing for conference team titles, and uh, so that makes us fun. Of course, you know, our athletes know each other. They competed against each other in high school, and, and sometimes they're a little friendly off the field here as well, so uh, definitely, you know, when you get people close like that, is purely the, uh, the type of crosstown rival that you, you look forward to. In the last two years, uh been really, really tight me uh, mm -hmm. meets. Um, think fans can expect another another uh, tight meet this year? Well, it's always, we, we hope it's not tight, but it's it, it always ends up that way because everyone gets so excited and hyped up. And, and the, the type of dual meet scoring that we have keeps it pretty close. Mm -hmm. And so you have to, you know, you, you, you can't give up any events that uh, you shouldn't. And you, you, you have to come through all the way through the whole way. So again, it probably it may, you know, at least it may come down to the mile relay or or it, and and we hope it doesn't. But at the same time, that's the way it's been traditionally. Now, last week you told me uh, the men's side's got a lot of depth. You're mm -hmm. really really positive about the men's side, and they certainly proved that uh, last week. Uh, won seven, eleven events out of or eleven out of fourteen events last right, week. Right. Um, you have to be pleased with the start they get off right. to. Right, and you know the men continue to get get very strong, and 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 that is the whole thing. We we're, we have a lot of depth, but we also have a lot of good quality at the top as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, this will continue to be a meet too, where we uh, we figure out who, who's going to travel the following week. We only allow a three per event at the All Ohio Championship, so so not only the kids will be competing for points, but some of those people will be competing for position, and there's not a big difference sometimes between our fifth and second best person, and sometimes our, hopefully even our first uh, fifth and first best person uh, in those events, so that's going to get competitive as well, along with, uh, the, of course, the you know going after the, uh, the can athletes. Now, on the women's side, um, especially last year at the indoor championships, uh, can't, you know, Got got the upper hand. Uh, is there a little added uh, incentive this year? Well, for yeah, the women? And, yeah. And probably in the last, you know, uh, you know, six, seven years, probably the only people to win a conference title has been uh, Kent and us. They've, uh, and I, you know, for the most part, we've been way up on uh, up on them on that on mm -hmm. winning more conference team titles and. And, uh, but it's also for our women that, yeah, I don't think they've ever lost indoors to Kent here in this facility or in, uh, in, in this dual series. So, you know, there's a lot of added incentive there, too, to, to keep that record going. We're a little young. We, 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 we need to gain a lot of experience. But uh, hopefully, you know, again, we'll, we'll get up, come up for the occasion. And, and I think that will be extremely, extremely close, close meet for the women. Now, more specifically, what what other events do you think uh, fans should be looking forward to on Friday night? Well, it was a lot of great events that night. We'll start off with the uh, men's high jump with Mike McCall, mm -hmm. and uh, then we also the long jump. We had Collister Fahey, who uh, you know had one of the top marks in the country in the long jump. But you know, supposedly with a better mark coming in, we have Tyshawn People will long jump this week. You know, of course, he ran well in the hurdles and has a high national mark as well in the hurdles. Uh, we also have, you know, again in the pole there with uh, Michael Uli, who leads the country mm -hmm. on the women's side. It's going to be a very tight event again, too. You know, these probably the best competition of the year will be these first two meets when we had Cincinnati and Kent, where they're, they, they pole vault well, too. So our girls will be challenged there. Uh, I think starting off with the mile for both men and women is going to be a great event. Um, you know, again, with the, the dashes and the 60 and everything, 400 will be pretty close. So I think you're going to see a, see a great meet out here. They're, they're very strong in the throws. But then our, you know, our young thrower came through there, Nick Banky, last week in the shot. And so he's sitting up there a little bit better. But, you know, again, they, they do well in those events. So it's, it's, it's going to be, a, I, I think, as you look across the board, look at the events, it's going to be a very entertaining, very competitive, and you're, you're going to see some great track and field this weekend. Okay, Coach, looking forward to it, and good luck on Friday. Thank you very much.